Hello and guten Tag, my name is Max, this is Megan Modify, and today's project is not Movember, but this Bluetooth controlled action cam slider. The goal of this project is to make an easy to use all round slider for less than 20 bucks. This is part one of this slider project where we will focus on the mechanics and in the next video we will focus on electronics and software. Make sure to subscribe to not miss the second part of this series. The best part of this project is that it can be done with or without a 3D printer. Let's jump right into Fusion 360 to have a look at the parts. So here we are in Fusion 360. As you can see this is a pretty compact design. It measures, let's see, 85 millimeters from edge to edge and is all designed around the 28 BYJ48 stepper motors. These motors are great for this project because they are only two dollars, round two dollars, and do 2040 steps per revolution. That makes them great for time lapses, not as good for very fast shots, but perfect for our purpose. The first part you have to make is the base plate. This is a 3D printed version. You can also do this from a sheet of wood, aluminium or even acrylic. You just have to print out the plans for the non-printed version in the Thingiverse project and cut it out. And then you will need some spacers. It does not really matter how long these are as long as they are as long as this back arm is high. On top of the base plate is the motor mount the tilt motor mount to be exact. This motor mount again can be printed or you could use some 20 millimeter spacers for this. If you print everything in ABS just glue it together with some acetone or screw it from the bottom. Next thing on top we have the GoPro compatible action cam mount. In this version it's made for my Mobius action cam since I don't have a GoPro, but since it's compatible you should easily be able to stick your GoPro on top. In the rear we have the drive motor arm assembly with the arm. Again you can also cut this from wood. This holds the drive motor with the drive wheel. This drive wheel is just pushed onto the motor shaft. The front wheels go onto some bearings which are not present in this model. And that's the slider. It's designed to run on all kinds of rails. For example this 30 by 30 aluminium extrusion which my printer is made of. Or if you don't have that kind of rail you can use a 3D printed version. Just print out as many of these as you like, stick them together and you have your rail. As you can see, it's designed for some different wheels. These were the prototypes. The final version will look a bit like this. So now that you've seen the 3D model, let's head on over to the workbench and see what it looks like in real life. So here we are at the workbench. Everything's printed in ABS, except for the wheel seats are PLA, but you can print everything in any plastic you like. For the wheels you will need some bearings. These are 608 bearings as they are used for skateboards or inline skates. Just push fit them into the wheels and secure the wheels with some... These are 30 mm M8 screws, but you could use some 25 mm or even 20 mm and then they would not stick out. The motors are secured in place with some countersunk M3 screws. In the back we see here's a spring to tension the motor to the rail. You could also use rubber bands for this or whatever you like. And the arm is held in place with an M5 screw. Let's have a look. This is 15 millimeters long. Just screw the screw into the plastic and leave a bit wiggle room so the arm can still move. In the next part we will have a look at the electronics. This is my prototype board. It mainly consists of two stepper motor drivers, an Arduino Nano and an H5 
Bluetooth breakout board. But more on this in the next video. That's it for the first part of this project. To stay updated on the following parts of this series and on other projects you might want to subscribe and also consider giving this video a thumb up. Happy printing and see ya!